Whether we're talking about Samuel L. Jackson on an airplane or Indiana Jones in a pit, nobody really likes snakes. Rather, we just sort of deal with them because they're here and there's really nothing much we can do about it. What's up, folks? Welcome to The Supreme. I'm your host, Maddie Wills, and today we'll be talking about some of the most feared creatures on the planet with today's title, Five Scariest Snakes That Have Baffled Researchers. Want to become part of the Supreme Team? Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling. Eastern Hognose Snake We'll kick things off today with a snake that you can typically find in the United States in areas east of the Rocky Mountains and even up in Canada. They're called the Eastern Hognose Snake. And these strange looking guys are infamous for a couple of reasons. One is because of the shape of their heads, which are a bit wider than normal snakes. And they also have a flattened, upturned snout that leads to why they've been aptly named Hognose. They also typically have large, dark blotches along their bodies, which give them the slight appearance of a rattlesnake, which is a big difference because these guys are completely and utterly harmless to humans. Also, those aren't the most interesting things about this wildly unknown species. This solitary animal typically spends its time underground or even beneath logs and cabins burrowing through the loose soil. If you do happen to stumble across one of these hog-nosed fellas when you're out and about, it may play a bit coy with you. You see, these snakes have the ability to play dead when they're feeling threatened. And not only do they play dead, but they do it rather convincingly. Not only will they roll over onto their backs, laying completely lifeless, even if you pick them up, but they've also been known to lie there still with their tongue sticking out of its mouth, really in an effort to sell the show. You've got to love that kind of commitment. So before we're able to move on, we've got to show you this picture that was recently uncovered by the Supreme family. Check it out. What in the world? This, folks, is clearly a three-headed snake. Now, the only problem is I've never heard about an actual snake with three heads surviving anywhere on Earth. But, I mean, could this thing be real? Can you imagine taking a hiking trip with your friends or family and you stumble upon something that looks like this? What would your defense even be? Three heads means three sets of teeth, and judging by the way this snake looks, I'm pretty sure that these teeth would be super sharp. Flying snakes. So when you ask most people what they know about snakes, typically their response would be something to the effect of labeling snakes as creepy, slithering creatures that could bite you on your foot or your leg if you aren't paying attention. And while people who fear snakes often have a good reason to do so, there's usually the understanding that if you keep keen eyes on the ground around you and in front of you, you'd be able to ward off any potential snake that may be trying to enter your comfort zone. But what if you not only had to check around your feet for snakes, but also you had to look for snakes flying down to the ground from overhead? Yeah, flying snakes. They're a real thing, and they are typically found in the jungles of South and Southeast Asia. Now, the term flying snakes may be a bit of an exaggeration because these animals technically can't gain altitude when they're floating through the air. So they're more like gliders, similar to flying squirrels. However, just recently, scientists did discover that these animals have a bit more control while maneuvering through the air than we originally thought. For starters, while they technically do just glide, they don't just fall from a tree. They actually can propel themselves from a branch by forming a J-shape with their body. Once they're airborne, they have the uncanny ability to flatten their bodies in order to catch more air and can even make turns left or right as they descend to the earth. It is believed that they use this ability to escape predators, move from tree to tree without having to drop all the way down to the forest floor, or even to hunt. Pretty cool, huh? Copperhead. Another very common North American snake is the infamous copperhead. Now, it isn't very difficult to see why and how these guys got their names, as their copper-colored heads made it easy for scientists to give them their names. For starters, these snakes are referred to as pit vipers, meaning that these snakes can actually see different variations in temperatures of heat, which then allow them to strike where it's hottest, as that is typically going to be its prey. 
They've got heat sensory pits behind their eyes and their nostrils, which allow them this distinct characteristic. The hourglass shaped markings that line the North American copperhead are distinct to this species and could be the difference between life and death, allowing you to know exactly what you're dealing with. Anyway, perhaps the most interesting thing about these snakes only happens to a few of them who choose to do so, but some of these wild snakes have the ability to reproduce without mating. Yeah, it's wild, but this process called parthenogenesis has actually been seen among some domesticated snakes, Komodo dragons, birds, and even sharks. The science behind it is pretty strange, as a single cell in the female's body effectively acts like a sperm cell, fertilizing the egg, getting the female pregnant. The issue, however, is that typically offspring born out of this method come with slight birth defects, as they are essentially a half clone of their mother and are a result of what's essentially severe inbreeding. But still, the fact that this happens in the wild is pretty crazy, though we won't see this process available for us humans anytime soon. Which, when you think about it, is probably a good thing. Elephant Trunk Snake Today's special shout out goes to Ravi Reynold Remprasad, who just the other day after watching one of our most recent episodes left us a comment that read, you guys are the best, love all your videos, it's awesome and amazing. Hey Ravi, thanks for hanging out with us. Now run and tell all your friends that we post new videos every day here at The Supreme. From snakes that play dead to one that can fly, up next we've got another curious looking snake that I'm sure a lot of our audience hasn't heard of before. We're talking about the elephant trunk snake and I'll give you a guess as to what you think this snake looks like. Ha! <laughs> I really hope it didn't take you more than a minute to guess the description because much like the copperhead, it literally is in its name. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks exactly like the trunk of an elephant. These non-venomous and carnivorous snakes can reach almost 8 feet in length, with the females typically being about twice the size of their male counterparts. They spend most of their lives in water, and with the loose nature of their skin, rarely come out onto the land. It's just much harder for them to maneuver on the ground than it is for them to swim. Even though they don't pack venom, if you get bit by one of these guys or girls, then you still may be in for a lot of pain. You see, when they attack, oftentimes they dig their teeth deep into its prey with the teeth remaining stuck into the bite even if the snake's head is removed. That means you'll have a pretty nasty and deep gash that would definitely need to be attended to as soon as possible. And while all that may sound like a bad thing, these elephant trunk snakes are actually heavily dependent on by the ecosystems of which they thrive. You see, they assist greatly in keeping down the population of the fish and frogs in the waters they patrol, while the baby versions of these snakes can often be seen being dined on by other, larger animals like fish and birds. Green Vine Snake so before we close up, don't forget to let us know your favorite snake of the day by commenting down below. Or if we missed a snake that you think definitely should have been on the list, well, go ahead and let us know which one that is down there in the comments as well. We'll end things today with perhaps the most beautiful snake on today's list. Finally, you get to meet the green vine snake. For those of you adventurous enough out there that like to own snakes, this is one of the more popular choices, no doubt because of its extreme green and exotic look. The long-nosed vine snake has a very distinct characteristic that you can clearly see as it has an elongated nose. These slender snakes are usually less than an inch thick, and it almost looks like they should be in a video game or a movie. The green color goes all the way through these guys, even flickering around a tongue of the same color. Typically feasting on mice, birds, and lizards, when threatened, this snake will open its mouth very wide and even expand its body so that it appears to be much thicker than it actually is. They hunt by tracking its prey with their incredible sense of smell, they wait for the right time to attack, and typically like to start by encasing its victim's head in its own mouth. Also, when threatened, the color changes, going from the plain green to a green with white and black markings, almost appearing to be a different snake entirely. These snakes are also mildly venomous, meaning that if you're bitten by one, the venom isn't strong enough to kill a healthy adult. Though younger children, sickly or elderly people would all have to pay attention as to not get bitten at all. Also, the venom in these snakes are in teeth located in the rear of its mouth 
So if it were to bite a human, it's highly unlikely the venom would get into the wound as the snake literally has to chew on its victims before the venom gets in it. And I don't know about you, but there's no way I'm going to let a snake continue to chew on me. And that's today's video. If you liked today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.